Earlier in this video, I talked about that we should be watching out for this key level, which is 4444 for S&P 500 before CPI. Indeed, that price made a low of 4444 4, 4, 4, and you get this number and it rebounded. Now today, this video, I'm going to cover what are the other levels that are important and why we should be looking into S&P 500 again and whether there are new trades to take it from here. Hello, I'm Bini here. Before we continue with the analysis of S&P 500, if you should want to get updated information, remember to scan the QR code for Telegram and join my channel. All right, let's talk about for this level, which is 4,444. Why is this important? This number here is a low that's made during the CPI. CPI was a data that's widely watched. And then S&P 500 gets supported at this level. So this means that should there be a day or maybe a bar that breaks this level, then this is a very, very impactful piece of news that caused it to break or a very impactful day of trading. Okay, so all of us should be watching out for this key level here. Now, at the same time, why we should watch for this key level is because this level is also a weekly wash line. Let me just go and explain what do I mean by this. If you have not watched my video on wash and rinse, please remember to watch this video here that I've listed here. Now, let's take a look into the current look of S&P 500. I've mapped in this 4,444 and that would be the you know, well-known support level that's in grey here. But what is so important about this level is that if you switch that into a weak chart, all right, then you know that there was this bar here that had a closed above the previous high. Now, this bar was a very significant close. And if you understand the psychology of trading, it means that a lot of people might have traded, bought in here, traded here, bought in here, traded here, right? And finally, those people who were on the sideline, they can't stand it anymore, even though that price had risen from 4,000 all the way to 4,400. They decided to come in on the breakout. That means that this bar here, which I've listed, and then I'm just going to mark it with a washed. It's a typical breakout bar. Why? Because there was few highs here and priced had a break above this bar. Now, the good thing is that if price continue to stay above this breakout level, which is 4444, 4, 4, 4, all right, then price would continue to move up because people who bought in at the breakout would still be profitable. However, if price doesn't stay above this 4,444, which is the breakout level, then what would happen to those people who bought in earlier at this wash bar here? All right, they would be generally at a loss. Now, when we take a look at the extent of this loss here, that means that are we talking about just a, a day of purchase or maybe a week of purchase? All right, so the longer that period, the longer that amount of money that has been poured in. So we talk about the week, week bar here would be one week, and that's your first week, and this one will be the second week, and this will be your third week. And probably when price moves down, there will be this four week, right, that people are still pouring in money because they think that there could be a correction and they are just buying in. And we have this as the fifth week, and right now we are trading into the sixth week. All right, so there will be six weeks of purchase here. And people are just waiting for a rebound. And of course, that if price gets supported at this level, which is 4,444, then that's a good thing because six weeks of money that's being poured in would be at a good price level for a further rise. But what happens if price doesn't move up and in fact that you know it moves out below this key support level at 4,444? I find it a bit of a mouthful to repeat 4,444. Okay? But at this level here, if price doesn't get supported, it just means only one thing. It means that these six weeks of accumulation is going to be very disappointed. Those people who bought in here are going to be very disappointed because that means that they are right now at a loss. Now, this is the reason why you have to pay attention to this key level here because we're not talking about just one week of purchase or two weeks of purchase. We're talking about four weeks of purchase. Now, if you take a look into the whole picture of S&P 500, since this breakout here at this point, so since this particular breakout here at this point, there wasn't any rejection. There wasn't any price behavior that broke a particular resistance level, all right, and then turned back down. Now, if this is going to turn back 
Now, that means if price is just going to move below the support level, then this is the first time that price would be rejected. This is the first time that there is a fake breakout. This is the first time of a wash and rinse. And we are talking about six weeks of price action here. Okay, not six days, but six weeks, which to me is a very important, a rather long duration in the study of wash and rinse. Okay, so therefore, this level, again, to emphasize, is a key level that you want to look out for. Then what would be some of the traits that you might want to consider to take? Uh, that comes into the lower time frame. Now, same thing, uh, in the studies of wash and rinse, we always look for sell when priced is at the high level. Now, right now, yesterday was the first time that we saw that price had a close above the previous high. So if you refer to my wash and rinse tutorial, you know that when price had a close above the previous high, we will always be drawing in a wash line at the previous bar. So if I mark this as 1 and 0, then because 1 had a close above 0, I'll be drawing in the wash line here. Now this also means that if there should be a rejection, why is a rejection? That means if price is to close below this wash line, then that becomes a place for us to enter a shop. Of course, I hope that price can continue to move higher into this zone of the resistance. Let me just mark that down for you as a resistance level. All right, that would be the resistance level that I'm looking at, which is around 4,520. So this level around here would be a key resistance that I'm aiming for to go for a shot in S&P 500. All right, of course, I'll be looking for a trigger, which is the wash and means trigger. All right, update me on what you think about this trade and if it should happen accordingly, let me know. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if there are other trades that you want me to cover, to give me a comment at the bottom here and I'll be gladly covering that with the concept of wash and rinse. And I see you next time.